My name is Amanda Bowser. I teach in Broken Arrow, Oklahoma, and I teach fifth grade math and science. I actually always wanted to be a teacher. I think it was just in me. It was in my heart. It was my. It is my calling. Um, and so there wasn't ever any other option for me. One of my favorite things about Mrs. Bowser is her heart. Her love shows through with everything she does. The biggest change that has happened over my career is me. When I first started teaching, I would spend hours working on the perfect lesson and um, perfectly behaved children to have these perfect lessons with. And I think I lost my passion somewhere along the way. And I had this conversation with a retired teacher, and she just made a passing comment. She said, children are a delight. They should be delighted in. And I just remember her words just kind of settled there in my heart, and I think it changed me. Whenever Rosewood opened four years ago, I stepped out of my role as a math interventionist, and I was really scared because I knew what it had been like before and how much I poured myself out um, into the classroom. And it was just a complete God thing, and. I know that he has me where he, he needs me. I am here, I am um, loving teaching more than I ever have, and really leaning into my calling and feeling like these four walls and, and the space within this classroom um, are really important and powerful work. If at the end of the day, I am not bringing joy into this space, and if I don't delight in each one of these kids for who they are and where they are, in their journey, then I am not doing my job. My biggest success is just when I'm really intentional in delighting in kids and letting them know how important they are and them walking out knowing she's my cheerleader and she believes in me. Every day is a new day and I love that, but I also think approaching each one of those as an opportunity um, just to speak life into kids and to give them opportunities to grow and learn, not just in math and science, but just as people, right? They're just these little humans who are trying to figure it all out. I want kiddos to be engaged. I want them to be up and moving and active. I tell them I might be the only adult in the room, but I am certainly not the only teacher. And they communicate with one another, and I think that is a huge asset to what kids need today. Mrs. Bowser represents the face of public education. I know that if given the opportunity or the stage that she would not only represent our district but the face of public education for all of Oklahoma. I think teaching needs to be um, shown in a light that is so important, you know, and I think my message to teachers is just that they take time to really reflect on why they're teaching, right, and what their purpose is in teaching and where they find their joy in teaching. And I just want our teachers to know that their words have power um, and to reflect on where is their hope in teaching and then let our stories share that hope.